So while I was sitting here packing the other order I got, I got another order. Good morning, y'all. Actually, it's not even morning time. It's like afternoon. It's like one o'clock. I got a late start, but it's okay because I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop into it today. <sighs> I, I just got a lot of stuff I gotta knock off the list including doing some spray painting practice so um, I'm just gonna get right into it I'm set up the camera do a little time lapse um, I gotta complete some song plaques send some emails um, and then hopefully I can get outside before the sun sets you know so we're just gonna knock this out I'm about to put my playlist on and it's just gonna be try to be productive as possible even though I got a late start so what do I want to listen to today I'm gonna listen to Jack Harlow's new album and just and just vibe out so let's I'm gonna walk you guys through this process. So I have four um, channel orange song plaques to do. I'm making four of these with different songs. This is just an example. Okay, so I start off by printing all of this stuff in bulk. I think you saw me do that in the last video, not too sure. So I print all the vinyl and I weed it um, all at one time and now I'm going to put it the transfer paper on it so that I can transfer it on to so I can transfer it on to the plexiglass um, and then after I do that I turn it over paint the back let it dry pack it up ship it out the channel orange ones specifically I have a whole different process for the custom ones because it, it um, requires me to design them first I haven't ordered one already you have until the end at uh, the beginning of February before they are completely discontinued and I move on to other things so if you're interested get them while you can rainbows are coming through the window hard right now I love the lighting in this space even though it's so small but um as you can see the best way for me to do this because I'm doing like more than one is to put everything in its place um so I got the play buttons there the channel orange album art and then the song names here and what I do is I take my I take my original channel orange plaque and I put it directly under the plexiglass and I use that as a template to make sure that everything is in the right spot and I use it as a template to make sure everything is in the right spot you might not be able to see it on camera but um, I can see it's like a ghosting 
of where everything goes and that keeps it straight it's the best way for me to do it i used to like measure it out <laughs> every single time with like a ruler but that took so so much longer so yeah i'm about to just get through these probably do a little time lapse um yeah i'm like breezing through this i'm pretty happy No, no, these days I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I don't really wanna talk about what I got coming out next I'm not showing up to one up just to show up in front of your friends I don't really wanna meet you out Just to have something to post about Exhausted by the thought of having to pretend that I had a good time with someone who's just interested in what I got and not who I am. I ain't got the energy. Okay, so now that I have um, the fronts done, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the back. This is the paint that I use. It's literally just house paint, but I get this from Home Depot and I had to match it a while ago. This one sample was like um less than five dollars for sure and it's lasted me i've done like 50 of them <laughs> with just this one thing and there's still like a good amount left because i don't use that many i just use two coats um per plaque so i'm going to paint them now and then i'm gonna be done and i can check this off my to-do list can't fake it now, can't fake it now Now you see why I'm exhausted by the thought Of hanging out in public just cause it's a look No, I won't pretend that I had a good time Cause I ain't got, I ain't got the energy No, oh, no, I ain't got the energy No So while I was sitting here, I got um, an order for a sticker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print it out and package it so I can use my new thank you cards. Um, even though post offices, I'm pretty sure are closed tomorrow. Tomorrow's Martin Luther King Day. I'm just gonna go ahead and package it, get out the way. So that can be off my mind since I'm already in here. Um, and I'll just go ahead and lay everything out for the song plaques too so that when they dry, it's, it's good to go. It's a wrap, they can just be wrapped up. Oh yeah, I just want to show y'all this real quick. I got two, um, my thank you cards from Vistaprint came. And I want to show you the difference between the ones printed on Vistaprint and the ones printed with FedEx. So this is my Vistaprint one. The quality is just so much better. Like, it's so much, the gloss is so much shinier. The neon came out exactly the way it looks on my computer and how I wanted it to look how it looked on my head the back is matte so i can write the name of the person on there um it's pretty pretty good this is the fedex one i don't know if you can see but it has like these print lines on it i got these glossy too but it just is not as bright as the ones i got from vista print um these are a little bit smaller but i did that on purpose because i need them to fit in my envelopes that I ship stickers out with it has the same the quality of the back is like almost exactly the same but yeah the coloring on the vista print one just looks so much better like look at them side by side I feel like on camera you can't really tell that much but it's just the vista print one just looks so much better so from now on I'm definitely probably just gonna order them from vista print and then use FedEx if I'm in like a pinch and I need them that day
Oh my god, y'all. So while I was sitting here packing the other order I got, I got another order. Uh, and these are for stickers. And she ordered like five stickers. And this is the biggest like sticker bundle. Like the biggest order I've had for stickers at one time. Um, because I love making stickers. Um, because it's an easy thing to put my art on. And it's kind of like an easy buy for people. And like... I've only been able to sell like one or two at a time so like I really hadn't been able to like make my money back but I'm so excited she bought like five and <laughs> Jocelyn if you're watching this thank you so much um yeah that's like really my goal was to kind of start selling more stickers like in a pack so that it's actually worth the money that I put into it so She's just this is just trying out to be a really good day and I'm gonna go outside and do some spray painting practice before the sun goes all the way down because you know the sun be setting at like 5 p.m. for whatever reason but wow thank you Joss like I'm just so I'm so hyped that I get to send these all out like you're great <laughs> okay so I set up my little spray painting um station out here outside put my hair up I uh, changed it to a long sleeve because it's kind of chilly out here and the Saints are playing right now. So since I can't watch, I thought I'd throw on a fit. So to be real with you, when it comes to spray paint, I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Um, when it comes to spray painting, I have zero idea, zero experience. So this is all about can control, learning to control the can and just just trying to figure it out because it's very weird because I'm starting at like zero so don't expect a masterpiece or anything like that we're just we're just trying to get get used to it you know what I'm saying okay I want to explain my goal so this is a piece of wood that I painted on before this is like my little practice piece or whatever so this is something I painted on before but I messed it up so I'm basically gonna just try to do it again with cleaner lines I'm gonna start with doing the blue gradient in the background with my Montana cans and just the standard cap that comes on it and then I'm gonna use my calligraphy cap to do some like foliage looking lines on top and we can see how clean I get. I'm just gonna try to be as clean as possible. I just wanna say that I absolutely should be out here with a respirator. I ordered one, it's coming in. Just saying, period, if you're spray painting, you should be wearing a mask or a respirator. So I never talked about the reason why I exactly wanted to learn how to spray paint. It's more about becoming faster at painting murals. I assisted a few artists who use mainly spray paint to do murals and their work just looks so nice and so clean and it just helps them paint faster. So I want to include some of that in my own painting practice and honestly it's just a lot of fun. It's really fun. I'm kind of cringing at how much paint I'm wasting trying to get this gradient down but it gets better. I promise. Okay, I think that's as good as this gradient is gonna get considering this background is very textured and I should have had a color in between this dark blue and this blue. So um, I'm pretty proud of it, especially how it looked over here, but these colors were pretty close together. So I'm gonna give this a moment and then I'm gonna start doing the stuff on top. I really struggled with spray painting at first, but here's some things that really helped me once I got the hang of it. The first thing is that I cannot use a can the same way that I would use a paintbrush. So when I'm painting with a regular paintbrush, I can put the paint exactly where I want it and I know it's going to stay there for the most part. With spray paint, there's a lot of factors that can change the way that the paint comes out of the cap. Um, how far away I'm standing from the surface, how much pressure I'm putting on the on the nozzle, what kind of tip I'm using, even the temperature outside and like how hard the wind's blowing. And so instead of worrying about putting the paint exactly where I wanted to, I had to figure out a way to kind of let the paint flow through the can and catch onto the surface that I'm working on. 
And the second thing that helped me that took me forever to realize is that you have to paint with your whole body. Like when you're drawing lines with a can, you have to move your whole arm to get a good line. Like you can see me doing with this piece because it has a lot of lines. Like I can't just use like my wrist or anything like that. Like I would use using a pencil or a paintbrush. Like I have to move my whole arm to get a nice line and once I started doing that I was like really good I think this piece ended up being really successful um this was not the last thing that I did for the evening but I think it's one of the best things I created in the evening and I ended up painting over this and I'm really sad that I did so I think I'm gonna repaint it at some point So the last piece that I wanted to work on was I wanted to try to make a portrait. I have one more piece of plywood left and some brown spray paint. So of course, you know, I had to figure out how I was going to draw a cute girl with afro um, on this piece of plywood. And it turned out really cute. It took me a while to figure out what I was doing. Um, I got really bold. I didn't even sketch with a pencil first. I decided to try and sketch with a can like I've seen other artists do. And you know... I got the hang of it eventually let's just say it that way and this is actually really hard y'all make it look super super duper easy but yeah it's super cute um I really had fun I can't wait to go back to spray painting again okay I'm almost done I just had a bright idea had a bright idea to add lettering to the background of this so this is either gonna make it look really fucking cool or it's gonna ruin it so stay tuned for the ride <laughs> oh god okay I got this I got this I got this Okay, so my camera died, but these are the two things I created today. That's the first thing I did. That's the second thing. I'm okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like spray paint is going to be a beast for me to conquer, but I'm just going to keep practicing. They're okay. They're, they're, they're decent. They're decent. That's how I feel about it. Okay, so I'm super tired. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me this long day. I had a pretty good day. It was a pretty productive day. I'm just about to eat some dinner, go to the gym, and then go to sleep. So I will hit you guys up the next time I feel like vlogging.